Hai Rifki Hai Buyang Have you ever read this news? What is that? Wow 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 Where did you get this? I see it on a news article today Ah, uh, I see I hope we can do something to solve that Hmm, I think if all of Indonesians is getting used to reading The quality of education in Indonesia can improve significantly And catch up with other countries But most students in Indonesia, especially Jakarta Have a lot of activities to do So they don't have much time to read Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that Hmm, watch this Oh no, it's really happening <sighs> I told you So, do you have any ideas on how to solve that? Hmm, um, let me think first Do you ever heard of deep learning? It's a part of artificial intelligence uh, Yes, but I don't know more about it What if there is a deep learning that could solve this? Uh, actually, it's a great idea Rifki But so far I haven't heard the research about this. Hey, 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 hey! How about we make a research about this? It's a great idea. Let's go! From what we know, no other studies can improve the understanding and efficiency of the reader's time duration. So we want to prove that by leveraging deep learning technology, we can improve the comprehension and efficiency of reading duration. So far, the traditional method that makes it possible to increase comprehension and efficiency of duration while reading is to get used to reading. However, in this era of industrial revolution 4.0, automation technology and cyber technology are things that cannot be separated from human life. So, we intend to look for alternative methods besides getting used to reading by using deep learning technology to improve comprehension and the efficiency of duration while reading. This prototype was developed using a deep learning model called bidirectional encoder representation from transformer or BERT, pre-trained on Indonesian text by the Indolent team. The model will predict the probability of each word with the highest probability of being the first word of the answer and the last word of the answer in a text. In order for the model to predict well, we train the model using the translated start for question answering dataset or squad 50.0 dataset. After the model was trained and evaluated, the model's F1 score is 69.09 and the exact metric 51.61. We also evaluated this model on the Indo and LU benchmark dataset and resulted in an F1 score of 0.765 on a scale of 0 to 1, which was the highest F1 score on the Indo and LU leaderboard. Then, we built a simple web application using the Streamlit library where the application user can get answers from the model by entering text and questions into the application. After that, we launched the application to the internet using a direct cloud service. This is an experimental research, which is one of the quantitative research methods. The design use is quasi-experimental, because the sample used in the study was not chosen randomly, but through a screening process of students at 20 high school Jakarta. By using the one group pre-test post-test design model, respondents will be given an initial test or pre-test, in which the respondent will conduct a trial without any assistance twice, and a final test or post-test in which the respondent will conduct a trial using Pandlajar twice. Then, we analyze the duration used by respondents in each test question and level of accuracy obtained by respondents in each pre-test and post-test. Based on the data we got from the trials on the respondents, by analyzing the difference in the values of the mode, median, and average of each trial, we found an increase in the efficiency of the respondent's duration in answering the test questions, which was relatively high 
and slight increase in the level of accuracy. Then by comparing the change that appear between test 1.1 and 2.1 and test 1.2 and 2.2, we can see the effect of Taman Belajar in increasing the efficiency of respondents in research in working on test questions. Then, to analyze the data more objectively and avoid some data outliers that disturb the balance of the data, we analyze the normal distribution of each wave in the duration data. From the normal distribution, it can be seen that respondents need less time to answer most of the test questions contained in the post-test than the pre-test. This can be seen at the peak of the wave 2.2 curve, which is higher and is at a smaller x value than the other wave. The conclusion we get is that humans generally need time to adapt to focus, which results in lack of understanding of the text and can spend quite a lot of time if the reader is not used to reading. This is because humans will usually focus more when they are used to reading. Therefore, by using Teman Belajar, readers do not need a focus adaptation even though they are not used to reading, because this process has been replaced by a system run by Teman Belajar. This was that by getting used to using Teman Belajar, generally, the level of accuracy will be able to test an almost perfect number, namely 91.66%, and the efficiency of the duration will also increase by approximately 19 seconds, with a median value of 48 seconds per question when compared to the duration of reading without using Teman Belajar. Therefore, several things are of concern to future researchers, namely accuracy level, duration efficiency, variation of data input, and other linguistic abilities, because by improving these four aspects, the use of Teman Belajar can be better in the future. We hope that with the existence of Teman Belajar, the quality of education in Indonesia can improve and bring Indonesia to golden generation of 2045.